Welcome! Let's get right into part 15 of this live steam Charles Loco build. It's time for the slide bars and their fixing brackets. Here's the first slide bar. It needed a bit of trimming to get past the nuts. It's quarter inch by one eighth inch steel strip. It's about three and a quarter inches long and will need supporting on the far end. The chassis set up on my real world workbench. I thought I'd have a go at reproducing the style of bracket used on Charles himself. It caused lots of umming and ahhing and indecision, but eventually a start was made. I did a sketch to help me think things through, and took a few measurements. Progressing the main pieces, which started out as two rectangles of 0.8 and 0.720 inch 1.6mm steel sheet, clamped together to work on them at the same time. First the main cutout was hacksawed and filed to size. I've just filed the lower face. Starting on the upper curved surfaces. It's all bench work, no machining. I scribed around a washer to get the curves. Getting there, filing the radii. I used another pair of clamps to hold the pieces together when I needed to move the toolmaker's clamp into another position. Moving on to the large lower radius. I used permanent marker pen for marking out onto. I filed all the waste off, no sawing. Starting on the bracket bases, about to saw off a piece to make the one half inch by nine sixteenths rectangle. Drilling point seven mil holes for pinning the pieces together prior to brazing. The upright has been drilled and pinned for the most tricky part the one quarter inch square piece set over at eight degrees to meet the slide bar. Set up for brazing the small piece. The fire brick is a terrible heat sink, so the piece is placed on a scrap of refractory paper. This is an excellent insulator. The job primed with flux paste and clippings of silver solder. It was heated with a butane blowtorch with an indirect flame that is not directed at the flux and solder side. This I learned from Kozo Hiroka in his excellent construction books. Here's the job after a dip in the well-used citric acid solution to remove the flux deposits. The piece was reheated and the braze remelted a few times to adjust the angle until it was just right. I thought now was a good time to drill for the slide bar bolt before the base was brazed on. Opening up the two 0.7mm wire pinning holes up to 0.75mm with a drill held in the collet chuck end of the swivel head pin vise mounted in the 1.5mm to 13mm drill chuck as the chuck wouldn't grip the tiny drill. This is the wire I used for locating the three parts of the bracket. The fully brazed slide bar bracket. The updated sketch with the finished bracket. Set up for drilling the tiny holes. My Jacob's 1A chuck being pressed into service. I eventually broke the 0.75mm drill, so continued with the 0.7mm drill and opened the holes out with a broken off drill. This worked out pretty well. It took a lot of rotating the pin vise chuck incrementally around in the drill chuck before the whole thing ran true. A handy feature of my Ryobi bench drill is that it can't properly start in its top speed setting and just crawls around slowly. To use this speed setting I hold the belt, switch on, then give the belt a swift pull and then all is good. Drilling for the screw that will secure the slide bar. Drilling 1.8mm for spotting through 8BA. It will be drilled out later 2.3mm for clearance. Setting up the bracket for drilling through into the frame. These 2 inch toolmakers clamps are so useful. 
ready for the upper holes. The lowers have been drilled through, tapped, and the bracket drilled out to 2.3mm, on the lower holes only. I drill them through with the bracket off. The setup for spotting through the bracket into the slide bar for the 8BA screw hole. Now it's time for the second slide bar. Much easier. I just copied the dimensions. Milling the cutout to clear the cylinder end cap nuts. The second bracket was quickly finished too. All the parts were pre-made. The small quarter inch square piece that clamps to the slide bar was remade as it had the broken off 0.75mm drill stuck in it. Thanks for watching.